Hello friends, in this video we will explore WTDBG2, one of the long read genome assembly tool. So these are the topics that we are going to cover. First we will explore its features followed by how to install it, then we will look into the assembly process and then we will do the hands on using this tool. So we have already finished Sasta Fly Miniasm. So after this we will be exploring one more tool Kanu and at the end we will be comparing them in terms of their you know assembly uh, statistics using Quast as the tool. Okay, so this is the link for this tool uh, WTDBG2 and this uh, tool is able to assemble both PEGBIO as well as ONT reads and it assembles uh, raw reads uh, you know it assembles the raw reads without error correction and then builds the consensus from the intermediate assembly output. So for it has two steps, first it will do the assembly and then it will build the consensus. Also uh, the claim is that WTDBG2 is able to assemble the human and even 32 GB assault genome at a speed 10 times faster than Kano and Falcon while producing context of comparable base accuracy. And yes, it is somewhat true uh, in terms like uh, when I did this uh, uh, assembly for this demo data set on Kano, it took almost two hours, but comparatively it is, this tool is much faster than finished in, you know, uh, less than five to 10 minutes. So this way, uh, at least uh, based on this demo data set, uh, it is true that uh, this tool is comparatively much faster than Kano. Not only this tool, all the tools are much faster than Kano. Kano took a very longer time for the assembly process. Yeah, so installation uh, is very simple. We need to clone the repository, then we change the into the in the clone directory, and then simply type uh, make command. So this will install it. Yes, and uh, this tool has two components. The first one is the assembler, which is the the, the command wtdbg2. So basically, this will take the reads and it will try to find the overlaps and generates a contig layout in the form of ctg.lay.gz contig layout file. And this file is then uh, input to the next uh, command, which is the consensor, which will generate the consensus from this contig layout. So there are two steps in this process. So the overall assembly steps, like once sequencing is done, uh, the raw data is converted to fastq file, and before assembly, we do the QC and do the cleaning. And once we have a clean data, then first we will be using the assembler to generate uh, reads to contig layout, and then we will use the consensor, which will do which which will take the layout and then generate the consensus sequence which is the FASTA file and then the FASTA file we can check the assembly statistics using quast so the first command which is to generate the from reads to contig layout the command is this like wtdvg2 hyphen x ont so these are the different presets like if we have pec bio rs2 data we can give rs sq for sql ccs for ccs reads and ont for oxford nanopore reads so in the demo example, we have ONT uh, platform read, so we will be using ONT and then we have to give approximate genome size, let us say 1 million here, the number of threads uh, here 6 and we have to give the input fast queue file. Then if already, uh, if means we if hyphen F will force to overwrite files, no need to give this when we are running for the first time and then we have to give the output directory WT. So here let us uh, you know, dump the output in the WTDBG2 assembly folder and within that we have to give a prefix assembly so that all the output file will be prefixed with assembly. So basically we are interested in this file which will go to the next command that is ctd, ctg.lay.gz file. Okay. So let us run this command. So before that we need to create this folder, Okay, output folder then we can run it. So uh, yeah, so this is the folder where I have the fastq file which we will be using it. So let us create this folder first, output folder. Okay, Now we have this uh, output folder is ready. So now we can copy the command over here. Okay, So already, uh, so let us bring everything into one line. Okay, So in my system, uh, this uh, is there in this path. I just copy this and replace with the actual path. So now let us run this over there. Okay, this is our WTDB2, then preset 1 million thread 6. Now instead of uh, fastq file, I will give my input fastq file, then output is uh, same. Okay, so what it will do, it will, uh, you know, load the reads and uh, it will use this cutoff 5000 base pair, only those reads will be covered. So this our parameters can be, you know, tuned. And it will generate the KMR graph and based on KMR frequency graph, it will generate the contig layout. 
so now if you see we have if we go to this output folder we will see there are many uh, files are generated but only interested file in the next command that will go is this file so we'll go back to the next uh, file okay next and uh, uh, previous directory now run the next command which is the assembly so this uh, it, this will now take the uh, this consensor will take for example number of thread 6 then it will take the uh, CT contig layout file which is there in this assembly folder ctday ctg.lay.gz then hyphen f to force to overwrite files and we say that output uh, is the assembly.fasta file okay so let's uh, run this command over here okay the second command so uh, in my system this path is present over here is the path of the tool then hyphen 6 then input file then force then output file okay so let's run it so it will take some time to run so i will pause my video then once uh, the file is generated so we can resume okay so the run is complete so we can check that we have this assembly.fasta file okay so we can check how many contigs are there by simply a grep command okay so so now you see there are 147 contigs are there in this uh, after the consensus step so now we can use quast uh, to run it so the quast command uh, is simple okay so okay let's run over here so quast.py is present in my system on this path quash.py so let me substitute that over here quash the output directory is uh, you know this uh, folder and the input file is assembly.fasta from uh, this folder okay so now what it will do file not found in this folder oh i am in this already in this folder so i have to go back to one step now i can run over here so that now i have this relative path correctly so that within this WTD that assembly and within that assembly dot fasta is there. So now it, it will take and it will generate all the plots. So now analysis is finished. Okay, so now we can go to this folder. So we have this quest file. So now let's open this report dot HTML file. So now we can see that uh, there are 147 contexts are there. And if you apply different base pair threshold, the contexts will change. For example, there are 130 contexts are there which are having uh, more than 10,000 base speed, you know, and the largest contig is uh, this one, and the total assembly length is uh, this uh, size. And when we apply different base pair threshold, read threshold, the contig size or sorry, the assembly size will vary. And the N50 value is this contig length, that means this uh, contig and all the you know larger contigs, if they add together, they will constitute 50 percent of the assembly size. Similarly, N75 value is uh, 30, 145. And L50, like that means 30 contigs actually, which constitute uh, the N50 value, this thing, okay. And L75, there are 66 contigs are there for L75 value. And this assembly has overall, uh, the percentage GC content is around 46.33%. So we can see this uh, plot overall, same information, the plot, first plot is the cumulative length. The x-axis, if we uh, increase, you know, the contigs from 0 to 147 the assembly size gradually increases and finally it increases to over here and we have this nx plot so the nx plot n value decreases and n50 is here and n75 is over here okay and the gc content is uh, looks purely normal distribution kind of uh, distribution and if you look by contig wise 16 contigs are there which are having 40 to 45 percent gc content and most majority of them 131 are between 45 to 50 percent gc content so in summary like uh, for uh, this uh, wtgb tool so there are two steps simply first step is the assembler followed by the consensus step and we have to remember the important features about this that this uh, assembles the raw rates without error correction and then builds the consensus intermediary output file okay so yeah so in the next video we will look into kanu which is another long read genome assembly tool and then we will end with comparing all the five tools uh, and in terms of the overall output so thanks for watching this video i hope this was useful yes please like and subscribe and press the bell icon thanks a lot thank you